What's up YouTube? It's Josh Reese back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be breaking down exactly what you are going to learn in optometry school and let's get into it. So this is actually a video topic I wish was out there more. I spent so many hours on YouTube and Reddit and kind of looking for what you are going to learn in optometry school to kind of know how to prep myself as a, someone going into optometry school. But now I've figured it out because I'm in optometry school in the furnace of affliction, right? And I get to tell you what you are going to learn in optometry school. So let's break it down. So first semester, I'm taking a lot of classes, more than I thought I would take. They said, you know, something like, be prepared for 22 credit hours a semester or something like that. And that meant nothing to me. So let's kind of break it down by class and, and what you're gonna learn. Now, every school is going to be a little bit different, but for me, what I'm learning is one, we have what's called BASI or BASIG or BASI, however you'd like to call it, but it's a basic integrated science course. Now, what this is for Midwestern is it's your bulk course. It's all the biochemistry you're going to need to be a doctor, all the histology, all the pathology, all the ologies, right there. And a lot of it's going to be some from undergrad. A lot of it's going to be things you've never thought you'd learn in your entire life. Like, I didn't even know doctors needed to know this. And right, and so it's going to be a lot of, of science your first few years. There's going to be this huge class. For us, it's Bayesy, and kind of the pace we're talking about is we have 12 hours of lecture a week for this one class and a test every Tuesday morning at seven. Now that sounds crazy because it kind of is and we're in optometry school now so we kind of have to grow up and accept it. But it's just a ton of information but it's the information that's going to get you to be a doctor. Now it's not too fast that you can't learn it but fast enough that you can't master it. So really, a lot of people, as long as you're getting an average of 70 or above, you need to be okay with that. There's a lot of people who are killing themselves to get Bs every single time. And really, it's just all of this information that is just going by so fast, you just need to take it all in and apply it to the optometrist you'll be. And so it's a really grueling class, and it's probably most people's least favorite part of first year. And the worst part of it all is that it's relevant for boards. So you're gonna kinda need to remember most of that information to become an optometrist and pass your boards your third and fourth year. The next class I'm taking is Ocular Anatomy and Physiology. So there's this whole class dedicated to basically the anatomy of your upper half. Now there's a lot of anatomy and physiology in Bayesian, but this is super in-depth stuff. Like I never thought I'd know this much like in just the first three weeks of class, I know all the veins in the eyes, which nerves do what, and it's like crazy. It's, you learn so much in optometry school. It's actually kind of amazing. And the caveat about the other classes is that they kind of go slower pace, but they're still kind of fast paced. So they supplement the stuff you're learning in Bayesian. They know Bayesian is going to be your main class that you're gonna doing and you kind of just learn these other stuff on top of it, and it's not too bad, but it's, it's still a lot. The next class I have is called Optics. So yeah, you're just learning. It's basically a physics class again, and it's actually more applied to the eye than I thought it would be. So you learn about how light moves, all the things that happen in a lens, all the things that, with images and calculating everything, it's actually pretty fascinating. Now I know how glasses work. Now I know exactly like the stuff of the eyes and it's only week three, so that's really cool. Uh, but the problems are kind of hard. So there's a lot of physics in optometry school, which you probably could have guessed because physics is on the OAT. You're gonna need to know that. Next class I have is called ethics. So we have an ethics in optometry course, which is kind of cool. Uh, just kind of dipping your toes into, right, the things you're gonna need to know and to be an optometrist. The, um, problem solving skills and moral code that you're gonna need. So that's really cool. Uh, not, ton, not a ton to say about that class. Now the next class is called Methods. And Methods is being an optometrist. It's really cool. You get to spend time in your little lane, right, with your chair and all the equipment and you get to practice doing optometry things, which honestly, it's my favorite class and least favorite class. 
because it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> so you do all the, now, now, right now we're doing simple stuff like checking someone's visual acuity without the fropter or anything and doing simple like case history kind of stuff. But it's hard because the theory behind some of that, and it's called theory and methods, is kind of hard. And so you need to be able to do calculations with what visual acuity means and how to do statistical stuff with that. So it's kind of a deeper class than I thought it was going to be, but it is still a lot of fun to practice it and to kind of get all of the, the wheels turning in my optometry crave, right? It's, it's nice to be able to be an optometrist your first year and do optometry things. So that's fun. Now, the next two classes I'm gonna kind of group together because they're really just supplemental classes that don't happen very often at all. So the first one's called Bayesian Case Presentation. So basically it's applying your basic science class to optometry. So you kind of get together with different students and you apply these concepts you're learning to being an optometrist. And that's kind of it. It's not super a grueling class at all. It's just kind of actually really educational, which I didn't know about optometry school is everything's applicable and it is amazing. I love it. Everything applies to me being an optometrist and I can see myself using the information all the time. I never thought I'd love this so much. It's amazing. And then the last one is called interprofessional healthcare, something that's unique to Midwestern, I believe. And it's, you're in a class with uh, all the optometrists, first year optometrists, dentists, PA, PT, everyone in one class. And so it's kind of cool and you're broken down into a group. So I'm in a group with a lot of different professions and we just talk about how we can collaborate to better serve people. And that's kind of cool. And yeah. Now that's first year and at least the first semester. So things are progressing from there. But from what I do know is that you, the more optometry like classes that you'll get in the future are gonna be second and third year. So things like your big neuro classes, your big uh, ocular disease classes, you have more methods second year, and you have different vision therapy, different. So those are a lot of things that you can look forward to for your second and third year. And then your third year, you transition into clinic. So your third year, you have classes, a bulk of it, and then a few days and hours in clinic. Right, so you get to be an optometrist for someone. Ah, amazing, right? And that's kind of what you look at in third year, right, when you start. And then fourth year, you're doing what's called rotations, where you are just an optometrist your fourth year. And you're just um, really narrowing down all of those things, all of those skills that you need to practice, you get your fourth year to do. And that's when you take boards as well one part your third year and then the rest your fourth year. So that's what you learn in optometry school and go ahead and smash the like button and comment down below what you're looking forward to most in learning about optometry school. And if you're already an optometrist, go ahead and comment the most useful thing you learned in optometry school as well. Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe and we'll see you later.